Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review our 12 liter steel dumpy cylinders that we've got available on our site. These are a great range of cylinders, by far the most popular cylinders in the Southern African region is this 12 liter steel, it's a 232 bar, and the dumpy, meaning it's the short fat guy. Um, you do get 12 liter lungs as well, also available, we find the 12 dumpy always super, super popular. This particular cylinder, as I said, is a 12 liter steel. These are branded under the Coltree sub name and in South Africa, Coltree sub renowned for making compressors for well, well, many, many years. Um, and they subbed out the manufacture of these to a factory called Vitakovich in the Eastern Bloc of Europe, and they make them under license, and then that gets shipped through here. So these cylinders meet all international standards, CE and ISO type numbers to meet the spec. They are painted the yellow and the gray to meet local spec as well, and all our cylinders are sold as in date as well. The cylinder comes with the, the boot as well as the valve, and the valve also comes with a DIN insert. So I've got that little DIN insert there, I've just taken that out, but it comes as a complete set. Just a, a note from us, when we ship cylinders, we ship them with this valve loose. So you can see I have already got it uh, quite loose over here, and I'm going to take that out just to discuss a top tip with you guys. So once I've taken that out, we cannot ship cylinders pressurized and we cannot ship cylinders with the valve tightened in. The reason for that is uh, sneaky little buggers go and hide drugs in these things and ship them around the country. So as a result, we need to ship them unpressurized and uh, with the valve loose. So if the police need to inspect, they can as they need to. So just to remember, when you guys get the uh, cylinders from us, you just need to take a big wrench or a big shifting spanner, put it in that sec section and then just nip the cylinder in place. One thing you guys need to check, I'm going to let the cylinder roll back, is as far as the valve is concerned, you'll see is this, this little snorkel at the bottom of the valve. Quite often, and it's happened with this one, is this, uh, there it is, that's what happens, this little snorkel comes loose during transport. So whether it sits in airplanes, backs of cars, wherever it is, it does tend to vibrate loose, and this can then roll around the bottom of the cylinder. So top tip from us is when you get the unit, is just take a, uh, a wrench or a, a spanner and just nip that in place just to make sure that it doesn't come out. The reason we have a snorkel is if you get condensation on the inside of the cylinder and then you swim upside down head first, if any water winds at the top of the cylinder, if that's sitting around this valve, that sprays into your first stage, which is obviously quite bad. Um, we have the snorkels on all of our valves and that just allows the snorkel to sit outside the water so you don't get any air in your air, water in your air system. So you just need to make sure that you've nipped that in nice and tight. There's a thick o-ring around the inside there. You want to check that that o-ring's in good condition and then you twist it in and nip it into to place. Just as far as the DIN fitting is concerned, you get a DIN insert or this will change it from a DIN fitting to an A-clamp or yoke valve. You just need to make sure that you put this in the right way. There's two sides for it. There's a section without thread. You need to put that on the inside. You can twist that in and then nip it in with uh, your Allen key and that converts this to the yoke or a clamp connector. Uh, for the most part, we're finding people are opting for DIN around uh, the world of diving at the moment, which is all good with us, but you do get this uh, DIN fitting with it as well. So there is the review, as you guys can see, of, hmm, going in. Uh, no, there we go, there we go. So there is our review of the 12 liter dumpy steel cylinder that we've got available on our site. Meets all the local standards, painted the right way, and we get all the stamps and everything done to make sure it's legal when you've got it. Uh, comes with the valve, comes with the boot, you just need to nip it in place, and you get the DIN fitting as well. This particular cylinder rated to 232 bar, or a 200 bar cylinder, making it perfect for anyone doing the standard recreational sort of 45 minute to one hour dives. There's that review. The Coltry Sub Vitakovich uh, 12 year steel cylinders available from our site. If you guys are enjoying the product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go there and click subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with all the cool products and reviews that we've got on the go. You can also go check out our social streams. Give us a search on Google or Facebook or any of them and we're bound to, to come up and we'll keep you up to date with our trips and travels and tours that we do. So uh, that's it from me guys and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.